Dolly 3 is finally out and I believe that it's going to be a game changer to millions of people. I've tried it, tested it, and the potential is truly endless. So you better cancel your mid-journey subscription right now. Unlike the second version of this AI, it is not a standalone website that you can use, but that is a good thing. If you are a ChatGPT Plus subscriber since the beginning of October, you should see a new option in the drop-down menu called Dolly 3. Once you switch to Dolly 3, Free, you can just type in your request for image generation in the chat. So let's try something interesting. For the first image, I wanted to generate a photorealistic image of a capybara in a business suit reading a burning newspaper. So I will type that and hit enter. What's interesting is that since Dolly 3 is integrated into ChatGPT, it starts rewriting my prompt a couple of times to give me a few options to choose from. For each image, it creates a separate and unique version of a prompt with different specifications and details. I see that as a huge advantage over the competitors since you can not only see how AI thinks, but also care less about how you write your prompts. Just take a look at the generated images. Look at the details, the quality, the consistency. I've tested many image generation AIs, but this is something else. And do you wanna see a magic trick? I just type in the request to change Capybara to the bald, eagle and the AI instantly generates me a few images. And look at them, they are absolutely perfect. It's exactly the same style, the anatomy is spot on, and even the font on the newspaper is similar to the real one. It is a really, really good pack of images. If you don't think that's impressive enough, take a look at how Dolly 2 performs. I will ask the same thing. Capybara in a business suit reading a burning newspaper. And the first results are not ideal. The second result after editing photo to the prompt is a bit better, even now it is clear how much better the third version of Dolly is than the second one. The second one struggles to maintain the style and adhere to my requests. It is just all over the place, very clearly AI generated. And now let's change the capybara to bald eagle. Instead of just typing what I want in Dolly 2, I have to click on a dedicated button and then manually select the area of the image I want to change. And the AI will change only the selected parts, nothing else. And what's worse, I cannot just add a part that I want to change. I need to change the entire prompt. It takes more time and is much less intuitive. A real hassle, if you ask me. And the generate results, they are just not very good. As I said, Dolly 2 changes only the selected part of the image and the head of our ego looks super weird and small, Dolly 3 did much better in this test and it also was much faster. Before we move on, let's take a quick break and talk about this video sponsor, Gamma App. If you are a knowledgeable worker, office worker or run your own business, you are surrounded by presentations and PDFs every time they're expecting more and more from you, but you are already swamped and have no time, so your presentations look super simple. Well, with Gamma App, you can supercharge your presentation game free of charge. This AI-powered service is super creative and creates presentations like you have never seen before. From the design of the pages and layout to fonts and clever color schemes, creating the presentation is super easy. I just type in the topic and let AI do its job. After that, the platform gives me an outline to check and edit if needed, after which the decks get generated. These decks are basically slides of presentation, but the feel is different, more refined. Presentations here are mobile-friendly by default, which makes them easy to share, and others view them from any device. I can either manually change the presentation or ask AI to do the job for me. I can ask it to change the presentation or add a new slide or even generate interactive multimedia content from scratch to fit my needs. It's super easy to do. Just type in what you want and boom, it's done. What I like is how fast it all is. The AI answers momentarily and all the generation happens in seconds, even images take a couple of seconds to get generated, which is faster than Dolly or Midjourney. And the best part is that this platform can also design websites and even documents. And doing all that takes literally seconds, saving a ton of time when you are on a tight deadline. What you also might find interesting is that you can collaborate with others, further speeding up the work, and the platform gets updated every week. New features, improved stability, and so on. So if you don't really know how to create a beautiful presentation, Try Gamma App. 
I will leave a link in the description for you. Basically the same thing happens when I use Midjourney. The only way to use this AI is through Discord chat. And before each prompt, I need to type in slash imagine. Yes, the generated images do look really good. That's the main selling point of the service. However, for the same price as ChatGPT Plus subscription, you get no option to chat with your AI artists. With Midjourney, I need to create a separate prompt for each image. And if I need to change the capybara to bald eagle, like I did with Dolly 3, here, I need to write a custom prompt from scratch, and this is not intuitive or usable when there is such an easy way to do things like with Dolly 3 and ChatGPT. To prove my point, let's change the style of the image. With Dolly 3, it is as easy as just asking ChatGPT and boom, Phineas and Ferb style images are complete. Dolly 2 needs a separate prompt to do it, and the results are wildly inconsistent. Only one image out of four is somewhat similar to what I needed. Midjourney almost snails the style, but usability is seriously lacking, since none of the newly generated images are versions of the previously generated ones. So it's not changing the style of the image, it is generating images from scratch. I think you get my point now, but let me show you a few more interesting examples of what Dolly 3 is capable of. I will ask you to generate me a photo of high-rise builders in 1950s New York doing acrobatics on a beam. I'm imagining something like that old photo of builders eating and lunch sitting on a beam a few thousand feet in the air. And would you look at that? Dolly 3 nailed all four photos from the first try. The framing, the style, the accuracy, every image looks great, really hard to pick one. Dolly 2, in the same task, performs quite poorly with inconsistent and strange results. I really do not like how it performs so far, much worse than I expected. To make things even more interesting, let's change the setting to medieval China. Dolly 3 has no issues with changing the time frame and visuals while still retaining the core ideas that I needed and wanted to see. The builders are doing gymnastics and scaffolding, and the background scenery is definitely Chinese. The buildings have texture and details, the perspective is nice, and even people look like people. Dolly 2 here, once again, performs really poorly. The builders are levitating in the air, their bodies and faces are crooked and unnatural, and the images just scream AI. Do you know what else I've noticed? How different the style of the images is. Dolly 3 tries to stick closer with the prompt and give the closest possible interpretation of what I ask for. Dolly 2 just gives strange and obscure images that are very obviously AI generated and do not look like something you would want to use anywhere. And the journey is just too artistic. Even when I ask for photorealistic images, it still gives drawings and illustrations. And it also does not always stick to the prompt, sometimes completely missing the core idea of the image. I do not say that Midjourney is bad, it is great, but you have to understand its strengths and weaknesses before you use it. Dolly 3 is much more forgiving and flexible, and does styles much better as far as I can see. But I'm not saying that Dolly 3 is perfect, it can miss the point sometimes too. For example, if I ask it to generate an image of a goth pony, expecting to get a photorealistic or at least somewhat realistic image, it will give me the cartoon-ish version from the series for little girls, and only if I deliberately ask it to make it photorealistic, it will give somewhat realistic results. Maybe it is trained on more difficult tasks, but this is not a very satisfactory result. And as you can obviously guess, Dolly 2 here is a complete mess. What is this? What is this? And this? This is just super bad. Terrible even. Midjourney performs much better, given slightly more believable results. Not perfect, but more believable. At least these ones do not have such an apparent cartoon-ish and artistic style. And I know that I can do so much more with Midjourney if I learn proper prompt engineering for it, but I think this kind of loses the point. The AI can be really good at doing some complicated and properly described things, but it is only as good as it is usable. Why do you think ChatGPT is the number one text generation AI in the world? Because it is easy to use. You're just chatting with a writer behind the screen like you would do with any normal person. You don't have to write weird prompts like you do with Midjourney. The same goes for Dolly 3. I believe it will become the number one image generation platform when it properly launches as a standalone website 
website, even from what it can do now from the chat, is super impressive. I think I could confidently say that the chat version of DALL-E 3 is the best version that a regular person might want to use. Think of all the people who just want a quick and simple image generation. The teachers creating illustrations for students, the artists looking for inspiration, the entrepreneurs trying to capitalize on AI. No one wants to learn prompt engineering and dive deep into how it all works. Everyone wants to just type in the request and get a perfect result every time, or at least with minor edits. And that is exactly what Dolly 3 is aiming for. With each update, it will get more and more features and we'll learn to do more and more stuff. And as you see, it is already super good at changing parts of the image that it can detect. Imagine what will happen when it will be a standalone website with a proper chat and ability to select and erase stuff like in Dolly 2. And do you know what the best part is? It is included in ChatGPT Plus subscription. You just pay 20 bucks once a month and you get access to this superb image generation and the lead in text generation platform. Is there a better deal than that? Dolly 2 uses a token system that is convoluted and inconvenient and I'm not even talking about the terrible results that it gives. Midjourney is pricey and needs proper knowledge to use to full advantage. So I think if you are a general audience and you just want to generate a few images a few times a week without burdening yourself with studying the specifics of the prompt engineering, you will not find anything better than Dolly 3 and I will continue testing it and pushing it to its limits.